And let's get started with Kahoot. Kahoot is a great tool for educators to use to gamify their classroom. So we're gonna talk about that today. Using Kahoot. I am your host, Shannon Holden, newteacherhelp.com. So what is Kahoot? We're gonna create an account. We're gonna talk about game settings, entering questions and answers, and of course, the question that we always answer here on the Tech Tools uh, online course for the University of North Dakota, the University of the Pacific, and Digital Learning Tree is, how can I use this in my classroom? So let's talk about that as I center myself. You can use Kahoot on any mobile device. Now, what types of devices are included in any mobile device? Remember that Kahoot is not an app, it is a web-based platform, therefore phones, tablets, iPods, iPads, iPhones, PCs, laptops, Chromebooks, any student device, any school device, any device, as long as it has internet access, can use Kahoot. It is easy to create a Kahoot. First thing you have to do is go to create.kahoot.it slash account slash register slash. Select your role. You'll be the teacher. Name your school. Create a username by using an email. Create a password. And this is what the form looks like. Your students can create an account. And the form looks like that. So making a Kahoot, you have to log into your Kahoot account and click on quiz. Name your quiz and then write your first question. Choose how many points that question is worth and add a picture. You can add answer choices and click on the correct answer. You can go as many as four answer choices. Uh, you can do two, three, or four. Click add new question to add more questions. You can click next, reorder questions to arrange questions in a different order and assign how much time students will have to answer. You can also assign a language, uh, make your cahoots public or private. You can put the name of your school on your cahoots. You can have a cover image and that's optional. And then hit done. Your cahoot is automatically saved as a draft each time you add a new question and it will show up under the My Cahoots list. To finally publish it for playing, you need to click the green Save and Continue button until all steps are complete in the progress bar and you see the Done message. And then that means your Kahoot is saved and ready to play. You can share your Kahoot via Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, or you can just email the link out to the people who you want to play your Kahoot. You can also use a PIN code all you have to do is have your students get on their phones or other devices and go to kahoot.it and it will ask you what is the pin code and then you simply put the pin code in and you type in a name that you would like to be known by in the game and you're ready to play that's what the screen looks like on their device they just simply put in the pin number of the game and hit enter what if students don't have a device? I get that question a lot. Teachers in my building have students compete in groups. Students choose a team name and then they enter the game. So here's a sample question. Uh, one thing to remember is on their device, they cannot see the question. All they have are the answer choices. So you have to have a computer with uh, a projection uh, screen and a projector so that the people playing the game can see the questions. This question is, a flag. What is this flag called? And as the time goes by, the number of points a student can earn for getting a correct answer goes down. So if you picked Union Jack, you would be correct. So they would click on the circle for the correct answer. So remember, Kahoot does not display the question. It only displays the answer choices on their device. So you must have a teacher computer with a projector on the wall. After each question, a uh, list of the top five people, as far as points are concerned, is displayed on the board. 
kids get very competitive and they want to win. So as the time ticks, the number of points they can earn goes down. So not only do you uh, value accuracy, you also value speed. You can build a library of cahoots. Your people in your department or your building can save their cahoots to a specific spot. And that way everybody would have access to them and you can use them over and over again, especially if you teach the same subject multiple times per day or year after year. So you can build your own, you can use cahoots built by teachers in your department or school, or you can find cahoots that have been made by other teachers uh, around the world who teach the same subject you do. And you can search cahoots by keyword. Maybe you're doing uh, a unit on the Constitution of the United States. Maybe you type in Constitution of the United States as keywords, and there will be cahoots that have already been made. You don't even have to make your own. So how do I use Kahoot in my classroom? I review key concepts. I prepare for upcoming quizzes and tests. I have students make their own Kahoots if they're 16 or older. We have class discussions, polls, and surveys. There's all sorts of different ways to use Kahoot in the classroom. The big one, of course, is formative assessment. If you look at my different students, you can see which students got how many right. I mean, what is better than that as a formative assessment so that I can go back and take corrective action with students who are having difficulty with the concepts that are contained in the Kahoot. Kahoot's analytics make it possible for teachers who do not, to see who do not grasp the concepts or who do. Teachers can adjust their lesson to meet the needs of individual students or groups. Of course, the most asked question is, does my school have enough bandwidth in its network for us to handle Kahoot? And the answer to that is, it probably does. Unless you're playing with over 150 people at a time, uh, most networks can handle that. You can search all of the questions that people have asked about Kahoot. If you go to get a hoot, getkahoot.com slash support slash FAQ. So that is Kahoot. If you have any questions, as always, you can give us an email at newteacherhelp at yahoo.com. I am always available to answer questions as you complete this course on tech tools in the classroom.